This afternoon we're going to be making chicken shrimp jambalaya in the mothership of cast iron, the big 12 quart uh, Lodge Dutch oven. And we're just going to be doing this all on the stovetop. So this is a pretty easy recipe. It makes quite a bit, so we'll be eating it for a couple days. So what we're going to do is get started with our shrimp first, go from there. Alright, so we're going to start out with on a medium heat and two tablespoons of olive oil. So on a medium heat, we're going to start out with our pound of shrimp. And we could actually probably go two pounds of shrimp on this if you wanted to. So while the shrimp's cooking, we're going to be using some Creole seasoning in there. How much do you think? That's really good. Because we're going to... Season more. Season the taste. All right. So once the shrimp's done, about three or four minutes, when you're using the smaller shrimp, we're gonna go ahead and pull it out and then do our chicken next. All right. So for the chicken, we're gonna add the uh, two more tablespoons of olive oil. And we're going to pre-season, we have two chicken breasts uh, with curly seasoning. Just cut up. And I'm going to let this actually warm up real quick. It's warm. I'm going to crack chicken in. So the chicken pieces are going to take about five to eight minutes probably. So just keep stirring them and make sure that both sides get cooked here. So chicken's looking done. Let me just cut open a couple of these and check them. Yeah. All right. So chicken's done. I'm going to pull them out and put them on our shrimp plate. Turn the heat off. Okay, so our shrimp and our chicken are done, and we're gonna add this back in after we do our sausage and our vegetables that we're gonna be using are gonna be next. So I'm gonna be adding our sausage in. Here's the other vegetables we're gonna be using. Celery, onion, and bell pepper. And then here's our sausage. I'm gonna do the sausage real quick and brown that up. Turn the heat back on. So as our sausage is browning up, this is the type of sausage that it is. Sausage is looking done, or browned at least. I'm going to add our vegetables. And you can add a bay leaf if you have some. I don't have any bay leaves. I'm just going to add this. about half of an onion, um, half of a bell pepper, and probably about four celery sticks. Turn the heat down a little bit too. At least want to get these kind of wilted a little bit. Okay, turn it back up to medium. And just let these cook for a little bit. Okay, so once the vegetables have been cooking for a little bit, I'm just going to go ahead and add some diced tomatoes. And then we want to add six cups of water. And this is going to simmer for a little bit before we put our rice in. And then if we want to do some additional seasonings, um, I'm going to throw in some salt and pepper right now also. I forgot to add my garlic earlier, so I'm just going to add it now. About two tablespoons. I'm also going to add a little bit of salt, just however much you want. Creole already has salt on, or salt in it, so add some pepper. All right, now we're going to add our chicken pieces back and bring this up to a simmer.
So we're going to cover this and let it simmer for about 20 minutes. And then we'll do our, our rice next in it. Alright, so let's go ahead and check this here. Yeah, it's a slight simmer. Just keep stirring this every few minutes for our 20 minutes. Turn up the heat just a little bit. To be honest, it's a little bit difficult getting a good simmer, slow simmer going on this. Um, it tends to retain a lot of heat, and since the lid's so heavy, uh, not a lot of steam can escape out, so the heat will build up inside there. Alright, so it's been 20 minutes. Let's see how we're simmering now. Not simmering a little better. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to turn the heat up, I'm going to bring it back up to a boil, and add the rice. Now a little trick to having your rice come out not sticky and nice and fluffy is to rinse it out, strain it out, rinse it really well to get that rice powder off of it. Just going to add in our rice, bring this up to a boil, and then we're going to simmer the rice for 15 minutes. That's two cups of rice. So once I have a good almost rolling boil going, I'm just going to go ahead and cover it again and turn down the heat and let it simmer for 15 minutes. Alright, so we're about, uh, half, about half done on our simmer. I'm just going to take a look real quick. Let's look at it, give it a stir. That rice really soaks up a lot of that water. Alright, so it's been 15 minutes. We're going to check it out, see how it looks. That looks pretty good. Like I said, this uh, recipe makes a lot and normally I would add green onions right here too, but we forgot to get them. I'm going to add some parsley flakes. Just however much you want. Give it some nice color. Stir this around. And we didn't add any cayenne pepper. Um, like I've said in my other videos, we haven't been adding a lot of extra spices to things because our son's been eating them for 16 month old. So you can add cayenne pepper uh, at this point or at any time during this. Okay, so let's cover this up and I'm going to let it cook for another 10 minutes. Alright, it's been 10 minutes. Let's take a look here. Looks pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and let this uh, just cool off here for another 10 minutes or so. And then we'll get some served up. Here we are. Jambalaya. And this uh, recipe makes quite a bit, so it's pretty good for eating it throughout the week like we do. Or if you're having a bunch of people over. So, thanks for watching.